Losing, losing, losing. They won for 20 consecutive They have to focus on what they have been well rather than the mistakes. Will I improve? Show fans, can I help us? Stadium failure doesn't get us to success. So there's a lovely story here about an American football coach called uh, Thomas Landry, right? So, Landry was the coach of this uh, team called the Dallas Cowboys, right? And when he joined them as the coach, they had been like losing, 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 losing. Okay, then after he took over the, as the coach, in his first season also they won no games, lost 11, tied 1. And for the next four years also they lost matches, they lost the seasons. Okay, after that they won for 20 consecutive years. <laughs> they won for 20 consecutive years. That's the important part, right? Right? So, that is how it is. What did he do? What did he do? What did he do? He got them to focus on what they had been well rather than the mistakes. So what he, what he found is, there are thousands of ways or an, an unlimited numbers of ways that you can mess things up. Right? So what he, what he helped the, the players to see is, the moments that they played well or they were successful or they scored a try, I don't know what to call it in this, probably a try or whatever it is, he showed them recordings of those moments and got them to figure out what did they do there. To be successful. Yes? When you focus on your successes, is your paranormal sympathetic nervous system or sympathetic nervous system active? PNS, right? Because that calms you down. That makes you like like energized, happy, motivated, and all of that, right? He's helping them that way. You focus on people's mistakes, you take them the other way. Yes? So that is what he says was his secret. He got them focused on what they did right. And then said, repeat it. <laughs> Focus on what you did right. Amplify that. Are you understanding? So you take someone like me. <laughs> and let's say Sanji wants to be a star cricketer. Alright. Now let's say that becomes my goal, my dream, my vision. I go for cricket practices. Go, go, go. Play, play, play every day. Will I become better as a cricketer? Come on, look at me and don't, 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 like, give me some bad feedback. Would I become better? How many things I will be better as a cricketer? Better, better, better. From where I am, will I improve? From where I am, will I improve? No, if I am here, will I improve at least up to here? Will I improve? Yes. So, so, do you understand? Like, I'm not great at all at cricket, but if I go for practices and I'm committed, I practice, I do all of that, will I improve? Show fans, can I have a show? Will I improve? Yes, I will be better than I was. But I will never be a star. <laughs> I will never, you know, represent Sri Lanka or something, right? Unless I have a lot of money on it. No, but I will. No. <laughs> right? I, will, I, will, I will not be able to, you know, even play for a school team. So I was such a good cricketer that whenever I was like somehow roped into a match at, at school and, you know, there's no one there, we need 11 people, there's only 10, Sanji, when, then. Right? I would go and promise you, I would, while feeling, I would be praying that the ball doesn't come in my direction. <laughs> because I knew much more if it came, I'm going to drop the catch and that would be embarrassing. So please, ball, don't come to me. <laughs> it would be my only, uh, only prayer. That's what I would be better, right? But as a, as a presenter, as a trainer, if I continue to do more on this time of the work, I continue to invest my time in this, I continue to learn, I continue to grow, I can get higher and higher and higher and higher and get to whatever level I want to. Do you understand the difference? So I have to focus on what my strengths are and improve my strengths because then I can get higher and higher on my strengths. Focusing on what my weaknesses are and trying to improve those will only get me 
to a certain place. Are you understanding? So today, Anusha and I were discussing on the way here about putting a square peg into a triangular hole and trying to force that square peg into the triangle. Doesn't work. Right? So how hard is it going to do it? Say you have someone in your team, good person, highly committed, right? But you're not getting the result you want to the extent you want. Could it be the person is in the wrong role? 